Hi, this is Pete Freitag with Sunday Link. I'm going to give you a quick demo of how to install FuseGuard, a web application firewall for ColdFusion. So to get started, I'm going to show you this example application I have called the Bank of Insecurity. Uh, it's a web application that's full of security holes that I use for security training. Uh, just to give you an example, here's a path traversal example where by manipulating the URL variable here and putting in a, a different file path, I'm able to read a password from a file that's outside of the web root. Uh, some of the other vulnerabilities here, using the news story, I can do a SQL injection, or I can do a cross-site scripting. And scope injection, which is a ColdFusion specific one. Uh, I'm able to access, without even logging in, I'm able to access different uh, user uh, bank account numbers by just by changing the user ID that I'm putting in to here. And I'll give you one more example here uh, by running this. I'm able to upload a CFM file that executes on the server. So how do I protect this application using FuseGuard? First, I'm going to take FuseGuard, unzip it. From here, we've got a docs folder, which contains the documentation. There's a FuseGuard folder, which contains the code. Uh, and what I'm going to do first is I'm going to put that FuseGuard folder into the web root. Next, I'm going to take the SQL from one of the SQL folders here, and I'm going to create a database for FuseGuard to use using the SQL script. Um, I've actually already done that, so you can see here I've got the, the various tables here that FuseGuard is going to use. And the final step here is going to be enabling it in the application CFC file. So that gets done on request start. Uh, I'm just going to take a couple lines of code that you can grab from the example application CFC, example application CFM, or if you're using a CF script uh, application CFC, you can use the example application script CFC. You're going to copy that code into your application CFC, and once you're ready to go, uh, the other thing we need to make sure is that we have a data source defined. I'm doing it here in the application CFC. Of course, you can use the ColdFusion administrator to do that as well. So now that I've got, let me just make sure I've saved this. Now that I've got FuseGuard enabled, if I try some of these exploits, they're going to get blocked by FuseGuard. This is the default block that you'll you'll get. Uh, you can customize the look and feel of that by going into the FuseGuard folder under Views, Block Request. You can change how that's going to look. Those are some of these exploits here that we just saw were working now are not working. Try the upload hack, that gets forbidden as well. Scope injection blocked as well. So, FuseGuard Manager is a web based administrator that allows you to see what's going on with FuseGuard. It also allows you to configure uh, all the various settings with FuseGuard. So this is just showing some of the recent logs that, that just came in here. You can also look at the logs view, filter maybe by a month here, and get various views. You can get insights into which filters are blocking, uh, which URIs are, are getting hit, uh, as well as just digging into the log details here. Next, we have configuration. The What you'll find uh, by default, you'll have FuseGuard enabled in log-only mode. And what that does is it doesn't block any of your requests yet. It will just 
uh, log things that it thinks might be malicious. This is a good way to start with FuseGuard because you can just add it to your application and then find out what, what gets logged and, and determine if you need to make configuration tweaks from there. And if you did, if you realize you need to disable FuseGuard, you can also just toggle that switch and disable it completely. Uh, and so FuseGuard is made up of, of various different filters. So here's one called the geographic IP filter. What that does is it blocks based on uh, geo IP database. So uh, if you've got a, let's say an internet application that really only makes sense to be accessed from uh, specific countries, uh, then you can set that up to block IP addresses that are outside of what you would be expecting. That would just be done in here. And then let's say you realize, oh, I need to add Canada as well. You can go ahead and do that. Okay, some of the other filters here you can see are looking for various types of threats and if it finds them, it returns a threat score of 0 through 10. And you can configure it to log or block. So the way you would do that, so for example, the SQL injection filter, right now it's set to block only level 10. But if you say, hey, you know what, I want to block anything that's 7 or above, you can do that and set it to log all threats. Or you can even turn off logging for a specific filter. So it's pretty configurable as to what it blocks. Uh, and finally, I just one more thing I want you to look at is the loggers. By default, you're going to have the database logger enabled, and that logs things to the database, which allows our log view to, to work within FuseGuard Manager. There's also another logger you might want to enable called the CF Mail Digest Logger, and that will send a summary email every within whatever whatever interval you specify. For example, if you want to get an email every hour with anything that's logged or blocked, uh, you can do so with that filter. And finally, you've got some IP lists. These are used by some of the different filters to determine what actions to take. Uh, so you can go ahead and add IPs to the IP whitelist, for example, or if you find an IP that uh, keeps uh, trying to do something malicious, you can add to a blacklist and then set up a filter to block the IP blacklist. So it's uh, highly configurable. FuseGuard is written in CFML 100%, so you can go in and create your own filters if you want to using a CFC and plugging in FuseGuard. So it's a lot of flexibility there. Okay, uh, and finally, you can go ahead and if you want to try the trial version, just go to FuseGuard.com, go to the evaluation, fill out the form, and request the evaluation. Okay, thank you.